Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a player receive an item when a part is touched. So for starters you're going to want to make sure your Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties and they should pop up somewhere over your screen. Now you want to go and insert your part and this part is going to be the part which the players are going to be touching. So if a player has to touch this part right here, they will receive an item. So you want to go customize your part. You can change the color, you can change the transparency. You can really change whatever you want in the properties of your part. But you also just want to make sure to go and click anchor up here, selected your part and click on anchor so that your part is anchored down onto the base plate. Now that we've created our part, we want to head over to our Explorer and where our part is highlighted, we want to click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside of your part, you want to go and click on the X button next to your script and we want to leave that script empty for now. So now you want to go and select what item the player will be re receiving. For example, we're going to be using a sword for this tutorial. So a player is going to be receiving a sword if they stand on this part. Now keep in mind you can really change this to whatever you want, any kind of sword you have. If you have a custom sword you could put that in here. If you have a random part that you want the player to have, you can also put that in here. But for this tutorial we're just going to be using the toolbox sword, just like that. And it will say this sword includes two scripts, we just want to click OK. And then do we want to put this tool into starter pack? We want to go and click No. So now that we've inserted the tool into our Roblox game, we want to head over to the properties with our tool selected and then we want to scroll down to where it says parent. We then want to click on where it says workspace because currently our tool is held in the workspace file but we want to go and change the parent of the our item to server storage basically by clicking on our workspace and then clicking on server storage. This has basically moved the tool into server storage and it, as you guys can see it is nowhere on our base plate and basically it is invisible inside a hidden folder. So now that you've chosen your tool and moved it to server storage, we want to head back over to our part and then we want to double click on our script to open up our script again. You now want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the script that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of your script, we want to go and adjust a couple things. So on line one where it says local tool equals game dot service storage your item name, you want to go and change your item name to whatever your tool name is. So if you guys remember, we have put our tool, which is the sword. So our tool name is classic sword. So we want to go and change your item name to classic sword, just like that. And if it is in the correct folder, you should be able to see it right there. And if it is highlighted, you just want to go and click enter and will automatically put it in there. So now that you've changed your item name to whatever your tool name is, you wanna go over here, click on the X button next to the script to go save it, and then we wanna go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and if we go walk in our part, as you guys can see, we will now receive a sword, and we're able to run around with the sword, and also swing it around. Now keep in mind, if we go and touch this part here again, we will not receive another sword, because basically I've implemented a system where a player can only hold one sword, and if they already have a sword, they will not be able to get another one. So if I didn't implement that system, we would be given so many different swords here on our taskbar, we would probably have a max of about nine swords. So instead of us just having the one down here, you'd be able to click nine and also have swords there. But now I've gone and implemented a system where you can only have one sword in your inventory at one time. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.